Curtis White coming across the line, winning here, being able to give your dad a big hug for everything that's been, all the support that you've taken it through. What does it mean for you to be able to win tonight after losing last year because of a mechanical? I, you know, it's incredible. I mean, this is one of the best races in New York, let alone the country. So it's, uh, it's an honor to come here and win. Uh, my dad's been taking me to races like this for 11, 12 years since I was a little kid. So it's uh, to win here in the pros, it's huge. And, uh, you know, my teammate Tom Soliday, he did a, you know, a horse load of work. It was just, it worked out perfectly. It was a very tactical race at the end, but uh, yeah, just was able to play it right. You talk about the tactics at the end of the day. Uh, it was uh, Vera Bay and Rafael Moran were away. How worried were you and Tom Soliday for missing that breakaway in those final, you know, five, six laps? I, there were moments where we were like, ah, oh, we could bring this back. And then we'd sit up for a corner or two, and then the gap would go out five, ten seconds. And it's, uh, it was a stressful moment. But, uh, you know, the, the Toronto Hustle guys and the other guy on the move, they, uh, you know, they were a really good race. And, uh, yeah. Um, no, it was just, it, everyone needed to be really smart about their efforts. And, uh, yeah, I was just able to play it just right. I told the crowd the energy that they were giving off and how pumped you were at the finish line. Tell me a little bit about how you fed off all of the noise that the entire city of Rochester made for you. Oh, it was tremendous. You guys are awesome. Uh, you know, home state. You know, I was feeling the New York love, so. <laughs> Perfect. Curtis White, your winner here in 2017, the Rochester Twilight Criterium. And the energy continues. We're getting ready for our podium coming up in just a little bit.